officially over we're into the postseason now but some of the biggest things that has happened here is the ncaa college football playoff played their first round right we had uh alabama beat notre dame let, 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 let me take a step back they whooped notre dame's ass let's be flat out honest about it combs you are a notre dame fan and I'm going to come to you first on this, but we, like, as soon as the game was, actually the game was even over, my Facebook, Twitter, and feeds were just going crazy. Notre Dame shouldn't have been in there. Notre Dame shouldn't have done this, this, and this, and this, and this. Well, first things first, I think they should have been in there. They, they, they were in there, and they didn't put up a fight. I mean, like, let's just be honest. But Combs, like, like how do you feel about this? I feel like fans are stupid. <laughs> That's what I feel. <laughs> Look, they they come. I, I my Facebook was blowing up. My Twitter was blowing up as well. Messages, texting, all that. Told you Notre Dame didn't belong. Told you, but who, who were you going to put in that four seed? The only other team that really could have had an argument to be in the four seed was Texas A and M, and they already got beat by forty points to Alabama. Notre Dame only lost by what seventeen. So I mean, at least they they made it somewhat respectable. That look. I understand when people are talking about, you know, Notre Dame can't win a big game. They're not wrong. Notre Dame hasn't been able to been, win a big game at I, since, I don't know, I, I can remember in the early 90s was the last time I can remember them winning a big game. I think so, they're 0-6 in BCS and college football games since yeah, 2003, if it, I'm not mistaken. It's gross. I mean, I mean, it's absolutely gross. I don't have an explanation for it. I knew they were going to get killed against Alabama. Every fiber of my being was hoping that, they were going to pull something off just so I could talk trash and, and go at people who said that they didn't belong. But there was nobody. You weren't going to put a two-loss team in over a Notre Dame team who had already beaten Clemson and then lost to them again in the in the uh, conference title game. You weren't going to put Texas A&M in there because they already got blown out versus Alabama. And you weren't going to make Notre Dame the three seed and, and put them in over Ohio State to have them, uh, Notre Dame versus Clemson part three because you don't want any Wait, chance that they're Wait, did you just say that you wouldn't upset. have put Notre Dame in there above Ohio State? No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying the committee. The committee wasn't going to do it because oh, they were going to have say, a Notre, I was like, Combs. No, no, no. They weren't going to have a Notre said. Dame versus Clemson three. And, and because <laughs> the reason why they were going to do that – because they uh, a third time that a team is playing one another, even though it was one and one, there is too big of a chance for an upset, and there was no way they wanted it to not be Clemson and Alabama in the national title game, even though that didn't happen anyway. And, and Ohio State ended up beating them and upsetting them. But look, I, Notre Dame absolutely belonged in the top four. All four of the teams that were in the top four were the right four teams in the top four, and uh, the the Alabama Notre Dame game went the way everybody knew it would go pretty much the, the Clemson Ohio State games surprised pretty much everybody I don't think it surprised me so much that Ohio State pulled it off but it surprised me by how dominant they were in that game good what I mean I said this before and and and, I, and I'm especially sticking to it now I think from here on out Notre Dame could beat 10 of the top 10 teams in the nation in the regular season, and I will refuse to ever give them oh a college football playoff not again. They're trash in the playoffs. Combs. So are the Packers, and you got all that crap sitting behind you? <laughs> Jeez. Hey, at least we can win a game in the playoffs. Oh, you guys can't get past anybody. And it's not even like it's not even like it's competitive. It's always like 40 to like seven. It's ridiculous. That, that, that's it's, very it's true. Been it is it's a been gross. blow out always. I would have taken yeah. Cincinnati over them. I really would have. Now looking back You're at out it. out of your damn mind. I would have. I would what, have. what did Cincinnati do in their bowl game? I, I, I know they lost. I really, I, I know. But I think they would have given them more of a game than maybe. What I don't are know you if out it's of your some, mind? I don't know if it's something with they choke or they don't have the talent or it's smoke and mirrors. <sighs> But something's not right in these playoff games with them. They they get here, they have these great regular seasons, they beat ranked teams, but then they get to these big games and they play Clemson, Alabama, whoever it may be, Oklahoma, whoever it is, and they lose by like I'm thirty going plus to points. Reiterate Brian Kelly here, and at some point. Notre Dame is going to get over that hump. They're going to continue to go to the college football playoffs because they're going to continue to play tough schedules like they do year in and year out. They're going to continue to be that 11-0 and or 10-1 and team heading into the college football playoff. And then when they get in that college football playoff, at some point they're going to get over that hump. And when they do, 
I am going to be unbearable. Nation. Thanks for checking out that Man Hour clip. You can check out the full episode in the link below in the description, or you can check us live Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m. East Coast time on YouTube.com forward slash Man Hour. Or you can download the podcast form on Spotify and iHeartRadio as well. Man Hour Nation, stand up.